And what's amazing is what internet experts can learn by people's activity on social media. It's been said that anyone who wants true privacy should avoid the internet. Whether it's connected systems in your home that don't just answer questions or do your shopping, but hear everything you say or know when you get back from work, or the political leanings of people you follow online. Everything that interests us has the potential to be tracked. Can this make life more convenient? Yes. Could it get people into trouble? Absolutely. And especially in countries where your freedoms could be limited by your likes. CNN's Fareed Zakaria talks to the man who pioneered a model to determine your personality traits based on your online activity. Taking just 68 of your Facebook likes, Dr. Mikhail Kozinski's model can accurately predict your skin color, sexuality, whether you are a Democrat or a Republican, using a certain number of things that we all do on the internet. What songs we buy, what, um, what Amazon books or products we look at. You can predict things that are much deeper uh, and don't seem necessarily associated, right? Explain some of that. Uh, if you looked at my Facebook profile or my Twitter profile, you would probably not have much trouble figuring out what my uh, political views are or uh, what my personality is. Now, a computer can do the same thing. Basically, by analyzing large amounts of data from your Twitter profile, your email, your playlists, uh, your Facebook profile, and so on, uh, it can create a very accurate and uh, intimate uh, psychodemographic profile of you and other people. And now, uh, this information can obviously be used in marketing and specifically in political marketing. If I have a detailed knowledge of uh, psychodemographic profiles of a large number of people, I can use this information to craft individual messages and speak individually to each of those people and try to make this message as convincing and relevant to them as possible. But also computer can utilize, can use information that perhaps for humans would not be very informative, right? So if you see me following Obama or Bernie Sanders on Twitter, it's not a complicated task to figure out what my political views would be. But now if you see that I listen to uh, Lady Gaga or Simon and Garfunkel, uh, that's a piece of information that humans would struggle to interpret simply because both Republicans and Democrats listen to Lady Gaga. Now, what computer can do, computer can go and look at this data uh, in much more detail. It can look at millions of people and I bet that there would be a small difference between how likely the Republicans are to listen to Lady Gaga and how likely Democrats are to listen to Lady Gaga, something that for a human being is not perceptible. Now, does it mean that if you listen to Lady Gaga you're Republican or Democrat? Not at all. It, there's just this little tiny bordering on insignificant amount of information in each digital footprint like that. But now the algorithm can aggregate information from thousands or millions of crumbs of information and then create a very accurate prediction. What are the ethical dilemmas of wading into these waters? Well, we have to remember that governments, companies and organizations can use the very technology that can be used for your good. They can turn it against you. Uh, now, how they can turn it against you? Well, they can, behind your back, without you knowing, try to infer your intimate traits, such as your political views, your sexual orientation, your personality, and intelligence. And now, actually, in a country as free and open-minded as America, it's probably not uh, a big issue today. Maybe you'll get some creepy marketing. But we have to remember that the same technologies are being used by governments in way less liberal countries where revealing your political views or revealing your religiosity or your sexual orientation can be really a matter of life and death.